Morning, everyone. Uh, Izzy, I see you've caught the bug back again. Uh, lovely to see you. Uh, and Steve, you know, it occurred to me that, you know, being in Israel and joining this minion, it's 10 o'clock in the morning for you. Uh, that's a nice, easy kind of uh, shachrit, yes. isn't it? Much, yes. much easier than it is for us over here. Yes. Yes. That's why I keep coming back. <laughs> but there is actually a minion here in the Mashav yes. um, er earlier outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, which I am going to go to and uh, at some point, but uh, it's too tempting to keep going back here at uh, quarter past nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we when we switch to to ten o'clock for our morning minion, it'll be twelve o'clock for you. Then you might have to go to the, the minion right. outside. Are you waiting for the weather to get better? Right. <laughs> okay. And um, this uh, the content um, of this letter I think will come as no surprise now to so somebody in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, I'm in receipt of your letter in which you write that you're concerned and puzzled and urgently request a reply as to why I do not go to Eretz Israel. <laughs> I urgently, I urgently require an, an answer here. So with all due respect, I don't understand what you're gaining uh, by having an answer to this paramount question. Insofar as um, HaKadosh Baruch Hu creates everything exact in his world, nothing is superfluous. It's a complete waste of time and effort if you've got a piece of knowledge and you can't use it productively to the fullest extent. So what are you going to gain you know, by this urgent, urgent question? Never mind. In, in as much as you, you're right that you're puzzled and you do request an answer, I will not evade giving you one, all the more so because the answer is actually quite simple. Indeed, it's... Um, Every, every Jew, the, fir, um, uh, the first duty of a Jew, and indeed of any human being, is to fulfill his mission in the place where he lives. And only after he has done everything expected of him locally, can he, should he consider whether he can go to another place to carry out his mission there. Obviously, one should not abandon the front before making sure that everything is in order. And by the way, according to my information, uh, the city, Scottsdale in Arizona, in which you live, is one where there's a great deal of work to be done, both in the strength, strengthening of Judaism, uh, as far as Jews are concerned, and also for the promotion of the seven moral laws that were given to all of mankind, the sons of Noah, uh, Gentiles, uh, and uh, given to all of humanity. Uh, and one has a responsibility not only to the Jews, in the area in which you live, but you have a responsibility to the whole of your society, to all of humanity. Um, and that's why I'm all the more surprised by your question, because have you done the things which need to be done uh, where, where, where you are? It's the duty of every Jew to do his or her um, utmost to combat the forces that are threatening the very foundations of our people, first and foremost, where he finds himself in his immediate surroundings. And that, of course, is the light motif of the of the river, and it's the answer that is given on many occasions to you know to, to others as well. Um, this sense of responsibility to the place where where you are, first and foremost, rather than seeking one's own uh, comfort and pleasure in in life, and perhaps a better life, a more comfortable life, and more, even a more spiritual life, you know, in 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 Eretz Israel. And once again, balance with the fact that it's not against Aliyah. There are many instances in which he recommends to people that they do make Aliyah, but it's certainly the question, and certainly the answer to the question that was asked by so many as to why he himself didn't up sticks and go and live in Israel when people said, oh, you'll have enormous influence over there, you know, and it's, it's uh, just think about what impact you could have, etc. And he just didn't, didn't see it that way. And he always said, by the way, that for somebody to have an impact in Israel, you have to be born in the country, you have to be part of the culture, and you can't be an outsider. It's got to be, you have to be indigenous, you have to be right inside the whole kind of governance of the, of the country in order to be able to speak its language, to understand its, its nuance of culture, etc. That's the kind of person who can have the biggest in, impact. And he wasn't swayed by all the uh, suggestions that, uh, you know, if he came to Israel, uh, well, he could bring Mashiach and one thing another. He said, no, 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 my responsibility is right here where I am to the Jews who are around me and, and in the 